everyone how is everybody doing tonight oh gotta remember to switch on my switch all right doing good I see that's good so, today was pretty rainy. Having myself a quick snack. Just Monaka. Alright, so... Where we left off... We were fishing in the sea. We need to get a two meter, two and a half meter marlin and a 2.8 meter hammerhead shark. We have not been having very good luck, unfortunately. look like we have yeah we can't make any snacks but let's see what we have for money hmm we have enough money to refill our stocks of food so I will do that So this is a green tea, Monaka. It's basically a um, rice wafer sandwich that has a flavored bean paste in the center. I've had a couple different varieties of them before. Um, my favorite would have to be um, a Sakura Monaka that I found at a Asian grocery near my place. Another Trevally. So, yeah, impromptu mukbang. neat.
Also, I totally followed MJD's advice, and I've decided that Isabel's cat is named Raymond. How you doing tonight, MJD82? Time Sage. Much tired, such mental peace. <laughs> wow. I am I'm doing okay. Um today was pretty rainy. Um we're having a company event tomorrow at work, so um I'm kinda excited for that. Oh my god. This has been one disaster after another. I hopefully should have enough materials to at least upgrade my uh, rod and reel. Big boy. So, um, planning on uh, this weekend. The only thing I really have to do is, uh, ooh, that is a marlin right there. The only thing I really have to do is. Go out and get my car's oil changed. <sighs> Darn it! I have to get my car's oil changed, and that's pretty much it. Next weekend, though, I am driving down to Massachusetts for a doll show! Because I must buy pretty clothes for Isabel. This is going very well. Wrong button. Wow, even with everything upgraded to A, I still suck. Uh, yes, I did finish DDLC, but I don't think I've gotten the golden ending. Yeah, I think I did that, but I think I got something wrong, so I have to try it all over again. Okay, so I need two more twine and one more rubber and a bunch more lumber to upgrade my rod. As for my reel... Oh, as for my reel, I just need one more lumber, so I am going to do just that. And that brings it up to A+. Alright, 
right, so what would we like for dinner tonight? I think what I'll do is I will make some cheese fondue. All right. Okay, let's take a look here and see how our skills are doing. Sean has three points, but needs four in order to unlock the next levels for everything. Neil has three points. You know what? I think I already did that one. And Alice just has one point. Oh, by the way, um, Time Sage, um, if you do try the um, Nintendo Switch version, um, the way that they the way that they pull off the um, playing it on a PC is actually pretty nifty. Wow, I can already see a difference. Also, um, Time Sage, you missed it earlier. I was having a little snack. Just Monica. I gotta say, though, that there is this one part of chapter or act two or whatever you would want to call it. It's just absolutely brilliantly evil storytelling. I kind of think you can surmise what I'm talking about. It's like something that doesn't end and you have to sit through it. And nothing you can do can get you out of it. You just have to sit through it. Yep. That's the best way to say it. Yep. Anyway, enough of that. We got fishing to do. What is the opposite of fishing? Failing. Well, it certainly seems like failing. <laughs>
Fishing is very relaxing. Fishing helps you get back in touch with nature. Fishing can be a wonderful and fulfilling bonding experience. Fishing helps build your vocabulary. But it's not the words that you would want to use in everyday life. One. One fish. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, I need 11 lumber, 2 rubber, and 2 twine in order to upgrade the reel. Wonder, I'm wondering if there's a guide online which tells you which ones are better for which, um, for which rivers and such and bodies of water. We'll make ourselves some okonomiyaki. Alrighty then. So what is everybody planning on for the weekend? I mean, I'm probably going to be uh, spending Saturday night watching uh, the AEW um, PPV with some friends. <sighs> oh, oh. Well, I wish you luck on that. And if your parents tell you that you need to pound the pavement or just come in and drop off your resume, tell them no. Tell them it worked when dinosaurs roamed the earth. I was reading somebody had posted a um, thread on Twitter talking about how like she had the um, the parents that would say go out and um, pound the pavement and go around to places and see that they're hiring. Well, that's good. Yeah, that's kind of why that's kind of why I kind of wish I had your mommy.
Also, I know it's probably... I don't know how you feel about um, signing up for employment agencies, but um, I found my current position through them and it was... Um, it was pretty good. I was eventually hired after a six month temp period and uh, they ended up hiring um, somebody else who was uh, found from the temp agency at the same time I was. So it was kind of a win-win for them. But I've got to be honest with you. I don't think anything can beat the satisfaction of knowing that you found a position, you put in all the work for yourself, you managed to get it with all of your hard work. and. I've never really had the satisfaction of doing that. Like, everything that I've had before this job was like everything my mom was helping me. But yeah, it's just like... I mean, there have been times when I've told myself... I'm only in this job because no one else wanted me. And I mean, I've been at my current position and my day job for like all, over four years now, so they want me. Yeah, I just, I find like, Things like, for example, like getting the money together to uh, buy Isabel and um, getting the money together to get my teeth straightened. That was like, that was satisfying because I put in the work. I sold a bunch of old stuff that I was no longer using to finance both of those, basically. That's what I admire about you. I mean... You started what? You started in the warehouse, right? And now... Yeah. That is... I mean, I don't know if... I mean, that thing... That kind of thing is really rare for something nowadays, but I mean, I'm glad that there are still some places out there that you can remain loyal to and they treat you well. And look at us. I mean, we're talking all this deep stuff and I am just breaking lines left and right. It happens. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, and unfortunately I need four more lumber in order to upgrade the rod, so don't really have that. So what I will do is I will make us some curry. And poor Sean. He doesn't get any development. Dude's just a big kid.
I think my biggest complaint about what I have to do for work is the fact that I still get misdirected calls. I mean, I'm used to it because I would get misdirected calls all the time in my previous line of work. And at least they're not like... At least they're not like really snippy. And they understand when you explain, look, I'm not in that department, but let me transfer you to somebody who can help you out. Alright, what have we here? Ah, just one of those. One of those. Well, at least we got some more money. So, some good news. The latest Nintendo Force is out. If you are a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you will probably want to pick this one up. Um, I didn't work on the Ninja Turtles parts because I'm not the target demographic, but um, it's a very well, there's a very well researched timeline on all of the Ninja Turtles games that were developed for uh, Nintendo consoles over the years. A live stage show, huh? Was it like, uh, was it like Disney on Ice? Or better? Oh, worse? It was a musical. A rock opera, so... Yeah, definitely getting that rod upgraded. When I was in elementary and school and up, there has been there was a uh, theater that is in Massachusetts, uh, North Shore Theater, and it's a theater in the round. So there, it's kind of like a circus in which there's a center ring where everybody is acting and everybody seats surrounded by it. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's um, definitely an experience that you'll want to see at a theater in the round. Went to a couple plays there. I think um, one of them was Wizard of Oz, and then we went to see Romeo and Juliet there. And um, everybody cheered when um, Mercutio got stabbed. Because he had, like, the fake blood um, pack hiding under his clothing at all.
I don't think you can post links on here. I don't have that set up. Ah! All right. Well, I got two fish. Better than nothing. All right, and let's get this darn rod upgraded. It is now S quality. All right, so hopefully today, I mean tomorrow, we will finally get those fish. I spent all those materials getting the rod and the reel upgraded to as high as they could go, and that happens. Still. Oh my god, this is... All right, what have we he- Well, broke our record. That's pretty cool. That's bad luck. Told you.
am sorry that I suck. I need one more point for Neil. And one more point for Sean. I think I'm just gonna make some beef stew. And I'm gonna move to a different spot and see if I can get some more money. At least I was able to unlock that. So let's see what we got. Treasure Hunter Rod, Lake Attacker Rod, Grand Champion Rod. Let's see. I think... Let's see. I need six lumber for the that rod. Super Catcher and Miracle Power. You know what? I think I am going to go for getting the super catcher. Oh wait, no, I can get the miracle power. So I think I will do that. All right, it's miracle power. Let's craft some miracle power. And then, let's see, Grand Champion and Treasure Hunter. So I think my next goal is to do the Grand Champion. All right, and let's see if that new rod makes a difference. I mean, that new reel.
Okay, then I gotta forgot to switch to the new reel. So let's do that. All right, A plus in durability, A plus in stability, and an S in reeling. Well, let's hope that we can get one now. More Trevallies. Well, let's see if the lure will make things different.
five fish. That's pretty good. Yeah, I caught a lot today. Okay, so... Alright, I need... Let's see, four metal. And... Yeah, four metal. Let's see, I can either get go for a treasure hunter or a grand champion. I have... I have to get, um... Wood rubber and bottles but on the other hand I have to get well let me, let me see let's see I will grab I'll grab some more bottles Gentlemen, behold, corn. Man, I honestly, I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to um, get through this part, but I mean, if another couple of days go by and I can't get the fish, I'm just going to switch to the other game that I want to play. Wow, that is a big boy. Unfortunately, it's not big enough. Hey, do you know how long I've worked to catch that.
Ooh, another big boy. And I think we got it. Let me see. No, we don't. We need to have it be 2.8 meters. And I think that was just under the um, length. Well, this is going to be fun. God, I wish they would have some sort of an indicator that told you that the um, extra power was going to uh, run out. Yeah, I think I've figured it out finally. I just have to have a really light touch on the trigger and then just uh, start um, very lightly tapping it. Yeah, I need to have a, I need to have a 2.8 meter hammerhead. All right, let me see how I'm doing for materials for a new rod. Okay, so I need one more for the grand one more wood for the grand champion or four more wood for the treasure hunter. I think I am going to go for the treasure hunter. Oh, I need one more wood. Let's get some food while we're at it. All right, treasure hunter rod go. Let's have some tacos. Okay, let's hope this works.
Not bad, not bad. Oh, nice. All right, that is that. And we're going to switch to the power minnow and try to catch ourselves a marlin. Another hammerhead shark. Do I have the right lure? Yeah, I put on the right lure. Huh. Right, we met our goal. Now that feels good. <sighs> it was a long grind, but it eventually was worth it. Ah. Excuse me. Oh wow, I got an even bigger Marlin. And it's pie long. Woohoo! 
All right, so I think, yeah, I'm just going to leave the shop for the night. And now that we've got both of our goals fulfilled, we are going to sit down to a nice dinner of cheese fondue. And let's see what happens between our trio. Man, let me tell you, that was a rough night. They locked me out of the car and I almost became a snack for the wolves. Can you believe it? <laughs> Sounds like you had an exciting time. And the only person to blame is yourself. But, hmm, that's strange. There are no wolves here. Actually, we don't have any wild dogs in this area, for that matter. What? Then what was causing those sounds? Hmm, it could have been just a breeze, or perhaps it was one of the mythical beings that remain in these parts of town. Mythical? Yes, that's right. I believe there are about 13 myths that are known to this region. Oh, I know. Maybe you can include these in your report. No, 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 and no. I don't want to hear about them. It sounds pretty interesting, though. I refuse. I said no, and I mean it. Okay, so 13 myths, huh? All right, so it doesn't look like we have a quest right now. But let's return to the sea and see if we can't catch anything else. Bigger Marlin. All right, you have a good night there, MJD. I'm pretty glad that I got the hang of um, catching fish out here because um, it took me a little while to just learn the magic touch. But yeah, now that I've gotten down, down into a rhythm, I think I'll be able to make myself a nice amount of money. One more Marlin.
biggie, big shark. Another big marlin. Alright, it's three o'clock. Time for all good uh, fishing lovers to go to bed. Wow. 100% catch rate on that one. I had a huge haul today. Chapter 5. The Legend. Nine o'clock p.m., Mr. Shopman's shop. I have something important I want to tell you today. Something that you've all been waiting for. Who, you mean? Is it possible? Quite possible, in fact. The legend's returned, and it's all thanks to your hard work. I appreciate every last bit of it. Whoa, this is crazy. I just got goosebumps. You really don't need to thank us any. We're very happy to hear the news. That's right, we should be thanking you. But I guess that means it's almost over then. Um, I keep calling that Alice's um, Tifa Lockhart cosplay, but yeah, that could totally be um, uh, Gender Swap Irvine too. Hold on now, you haven't caught him yet. I warn you, the legend is a tough one. You'll ne need to really prepare yourselves for this. Yes, of course we do. It's our culmination of the entire trip. A culmination? Yeah, that sounds about right. Man, I'm itching to catch him. Sean, do you even know what culmination means? We'll do our best. That's the spirit. But I know this may feel a little bittersweet to you. That's why, in addition to the legend's location, I'll also give you information about another new fish. Nice! What kind of fish, dude? The spotted gar, which can be found in the forest stream. Can you catch a spotted gar bigger than 80 centimeters for me? I recommend a blue popper lure for this fish. Understood, sir. And, oh, yes, of course. The location of the legend. Gulp. Do you remember seeing a tunnel on the first day you arrived here? It's actually right there. That tunnel? Wait, but wasn't it a dead end? I don't remember any bodies of water there either. You'll see what I mean when you get there. You can head on over once you're ready. Oh man, so behind that wall, it isn't a cask of Amontillado, it isn't Henry the Tank Engine, it's a fish. But here's the thing, you have to go at 3 a.m. 3 in the morning? Correct, it's very late, so be careful out there. Oh man, I am so excited. I suppose excitement is on my mind, too, but don't you think it's a little strange? I got the same feeling. It's spooky, you know? But the dude said it's there. I trust him. I'm not saying that he's lying. It's just that three in the morning is during the witching hour. The witching hour? What's that? I know about it, too. My grandma told me stories. The witching hour is when ghosts are free to roam between worlds. Ghosts? Like the scary story ones? Wait, you believe in ghosts? Right, I thought you were a thick-skinned dummy. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You see, ghosts in this sense are like spirits. It's believed that people should avoid being out late at night because we might get in their way. So we should be scared of these ghosts because we might see them? That's it? I guess you could put it that way. Okay, that's weird. But we won't know until we go see the place with our own eyes, right? Well, yes, but it's just... Oh, come on. I've never heard either of you worry about this witching hour thing back at home. 
Well, it's a bit different here. Yeah, whatever. Man, what's wrong with you two? You don't want to catch the legend anymore? Of course I do! I'm in the fishing club! Yeah, I do too. Then we have to go. No other choice. I'm sure everything will be fine. Okay, you might be right. Things usually do work out with Sean around. I guess. I'm still not super confident, though. So, we're going tonight, yeah? So, we're going tonight, yeah? Alright, so... Let's grab ourselves some more food. And have some cheese fondue. Hey, you want to go and take on the legend? Well, um, might as well just give it a try and see what happens. Chapter 6, Beyond the Tunnel. Oh great, we're getting into endgame stuff. 2 o'clock a.m., outside the tunnel. Man, it's so dark, I can't see a thing. Huh? There's someone here, I think. What? Huh? Oh my gosh, what is it? It better not be a ghost. It's... Oh, look, it's the dude. Hey, what's up? Mr. Shopman? What? Why? Did we ever tell him we were going tonight? I'm glad you came. I thought you might have a little trouble navigating on your own, so I came to help guide the way. Dude, you really got us covered. Thank you for the help. Huh? The tunnel? It's connected all the way. Wait, what? It was blocked before, wasn't it? Come on, this way. Huh? Wait, what? Hold on. J just, can you give me a minute, please? What is it? Jeez, calm down. I am very calm. Thank you very much. Why aren't either of you questioning this? Question what? You don't remember? The tunnel didn't go through when we came to check it out before. Hmm? Huh? Is something wrong? Not wrong, but tell me, Mr. Shopman, wasn't this tunnel still under construction? Maybe it was, but it's obviously open now. Dude says he can lead the way, so I don't see the problem. I thought it was a little strange, too, but hey, we've got both Mr. Shopman and Sa Sean with us. I think everything will be just fine. Oh my gosh, are you two being serious? That is beyond optimistic. Mr. Shopman, please, can you explain this to me? Are you frightened? Well, I can't blame you. Because from here on out, we're traversing into another world. What? Uh, uh... No, 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 no! What do you mean by another world, dude? Will we be able to come back? Whether we can or can't come back isn't the issue. I don't want any of that. <laughs> I'm so sorry I scared you. I was just kidding. It was a joke. Your reactions were just so priceless. I apologize for teasing you. Oh man, you got us again, dude. You sure did. Look at Alice. She believed you. Okay, so which is it? I was kidding about us traveling to another world, but a tunnel exists to connect two paths. No, no, backtrack. This tunnel was blocked before. Blocked? Are you sure? Maybe you didn't look far enough. What? But we saw... Wait, didn't we? Hmm, I thought it looked blocked at first, too. Yeah, but we were only there for a moment. It's been several days now, so I can't say I absolutely remember for sure. I know, I get that, but still. Maybe it was too dark and you couldn't see. This tunnel has been built all the way through. You hear that, Alice? Either way, we have to go through this tunnel. Debating about it now isn't going to get us anywhere. Or did you want to give up here? That's not... He's right, Alice. It'll be okay. Do you not trust me? No, of course I do. I'm just saying... I believe you, dude. I do too. I trust you. I do. It's just that I'm really scared. <laughs> I see. It is pretty late after all, but everything will be fine. Don't worry, please. I guarantee your safety. Mr. Shopman, I... We'll stay by your side, okay, Alice? Yeah. 
Sean, Neil, okay, yeah, you're right. We have to go see the legend. Now we're talking. Good, that's the spirit. Well then, shall we? Already, let's go! Alright, so we're going through the tunnel. And where will that tunnel lead us? Ah! Are you okay, Alice? It's very dark. Watch your step. I'm trying. Ah! Oop! Legend, I'm coming to see you right now. And this time, I will protect them. I swear it. They trust me. They believe in me. Sean, Neil, and Alice, thank you for coming with me. I swear I will show you the legend. Hey, dude, are we there yet? Almost. It's up just ahead. This is terrifying. It's okay, Alice. It'll be fine. Thanks, Neil. Aha! What? What's wrong, Sean? Yeah! Huh? What is it? Ah! That was bright. Are we through the tunnel? Wow. Yes, here we are. This is the legend spot. Wow. It's... It's so beautiful. Yeah, I've never seen a place like this. Whoa. Are those fireflies? It's like we're in a fantasy world. <gasps> hey, did you see that just now? Yeah, could it be? Sean, take this. Dude, as you might have guessed, you've just witnessed the elusive fish, the legend. And this is my special rod. I'll lend it to you. Whoa, thanks. The legend is very strong and tough to catch. Now you guys go have fun out there. Oh, we will. Just you watch. We'll get him. All right, so looks like we're ready to catch the legend. I don't know what we skipped over in order to do so. Wow. It's like rainbow metal. And is that it? Oh my god, it's got woogly eyes! What is it? <laughs> Chapter 7. Free at last. Three fifty a.m. Mysterious Beach. Gah! Uh, gah! Sean, you did it! The legend! It's amazing and huge and so pretty! I did it! I did it! There's no time to sit here in awe. Take notes for the report! Oh right, we have to observe him carefully. Hey, uh, sorry, but can I leave that to you too? This guy was something. My energy's drained. No problem, we'll take care of it. Yeah, good work, Sean. Okay, now let's put him back in the water. That's strange, he's not swimming away. Do you think he likes us now? That's just silly, he's just a fish after all. But you may be right, it's like he wants to stay by our side. <laughs> That's kind of cool, but right now I'm more weirded out by these fireflies. Huh? What is this? Is there so many of them? It's like we're being surrounded by light. Now this is a sight we don't get every day. Well, it's almost time. I understand you want to stay a little longer, but you have to hurry back. Huh? Why do we have to hurry? Sean, Alice, the train station. What? Is it getting farther away? That can't be good. Let's run. You too, Mr. Shopman. No, that's all right. I'll stay here. There's something I still need to finish up. Right now? Don't worry. I'll be sure to make my way back. Who do you think it was that guided you here? But, Mr. Shopman, dude, I'm going to trust you on this. We'll see you later, right? 
Of course. It's a promise. Look, the station's moving farther away. Hurry! We'll meet again later, Mr. Shopman. See you! Yes, see you again. Thank you! Wow. Now we're getting into the supernatural. August 22nd, 1960. Dear my beloved, If you're reading this diary, it probably means that I've long departed from this world. I'm sorry for being unable to keep my promise to see the legend together. The fireworks, too. But I believe in you. I know you can do it. Don't ever give up. When you're finally ready to come to me, you can talk to me every day just like you used to. Tell me all about your adventures. Perhaps I'll find a fascinating fishing spot in the world beyond. One that we won't be able to find while we're still here in this world. I'll wait for you there while I go fishing. Tell me your stories and I'll tell you mine. I only ask this. There's no need to hold back any tears, but smile whenever you can. Like this beautiful moon tonight, I'll always love you. <sighs> Did we make it back? It's the station. Hey, look at the tunnel. What? It's blocked. Oh no, how is Mr. Shopman going to get back? He said he'd be back. He promised, so we trust him and wait. Yeah, we'll just wait. Okay. So it did turn out that it's a supernatural thing. He still hasn't come back. The sun's pretty high now. Do you think maybe he's back at the shop? Right, that's a possibility. No harm in checking. Let's go back to the shop. Mr. Shopman, are you back? Hey, you there, dude? Huh? Uh, hey guys, take a look at this. An album? Whoa, these are all our fishing logs. He had them cataloged with all the notes. It's amazing. Maybe we can use this along with our report on the legend. Oh, there's a photo of the legend in here, too. What? Mr. Shopman's been back here once, then. Yeah, I guess it's gotta be. Look, there's another one. Fishing Log 720-1960. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that, too. Whoa, that's our dude. These are all huge fish. We've got a long way to go to get on his level. Who is he really, that Mr. Shopman? Could he be, like, some famous angler? Hmm? It says something at the end. I plan to catch that fish today. It's dated August 22nd, 1960. What? 1960? That's almost 60 years ago. No way, it can't be. How old is Mr. Shopman? Well, it could be his dad. Yeah, it has to be. He's old, but not that old. In any case, though, the dude ain't here. It doesn't seem like he is, no. Well, we can't wait for here for him forever. What should we do? How about this? Why don't we leave a letter with our contact information on it? Oh, nice idea. All right, let me take care of it. I think this should work. I hope you read it, Mr. Shopman. Of course the dude will read it. You gotta have faith. Faith? Yeah, you're right, Sean. All right, let's head back now. We'll be waiting to hear from you, dude. Thanks for everything, Mr. Shopman. A few days later. And we're back at the fishing club room. 10 o'clock a.m. I wonder if Mr. Shopman got a chance to look at our letter. It's too bad we couldn't see him before we left. He was gone way too long for shopping. Maybe he had to go back to work. Or maybe something urgent came back up. What does he do for work, though? He was there every day until we saw the legend. Yeah, well, it was a thought. 
Maybe the museum where he met we met him? That's right, the museum! Yeah, let's go there! So they're heading back to the museum where it all began. 11 o'clock a.m. The museum. Hmm, he's not here. So I went and asked the workers here. They said they never hired anyone like him. Told me they never even had a painting of a fish. Isn't that weird? That can't be. Then what's going on here? Ah, oh, Mr. Shopman. Hmm. Hey, can you guys give me some time? What's wrong, Neil? I'm curious about something, so I wanted to go see if I could look it up. Oh, then why don't we wait at that cafe that we saw on the way I our way in? Yeah, that's perfect. I'll see you in an hour. Alright, we'll meet there in an hour. See you soon! We split the party. Huh, this place kind of feels nostalgic. It does. It's kind of like Mr. Shopman's shop. It feels really comforting. So, did you find the information you were looking for, Neil? Yeah, I want to know about it too. Uh, well, I did, but, hmm, where do I begin? Come on, what's with the suspense? What did you find out? Or more like, where were you? At the library. I remembered there were records and books about remote regions there. Oh, okay. And? And I found an interesting piece of lore that's known in that region we were in. What, like a myth? Yeah, specifically one that concerns the legend. Oh man, now I'm really curious. Tell us! Alright, but don't be surprised. You see, according to one of the myths, the legend is, is known to be a messenger from the afterworld. The afterworld? Like, heaven? Yeah, something like that. A distant world. What? Okay, and then? The story goes that if the legend finds you, he'll take you with him. That tunnel, so then the fireflies too? Mr. Shopman, what about Mr. Shopman? This is my hypo just my hypothesis, but maybe Mr. Shopman is no longer a person of this world. I don't really get it, but do you mean like he was a ghost? A ghost? No way, he was so nice to us. Yeah, I'm not saying he was a ghost. I just thought maybe our desire to see the legend called out to Mr. Shopman and that's why he appeared. So that date in the logs, that's why he helped us. Yeah, if he hadn't told us to go back when he did, I don't know if we'd be here right now. Oh, come on. What's with the gloomy mood? If the dude was able to save us, then it means he had the power to do so. He'll be fine. I'm sure he's made it back by now. Sean? Yeah, yeah, he has to be. He said we'd meet again. I heard it. Yeah, I heard him too. He said it was a promise. See? So he's fine. We'll go take another trip someday. We'll see that dude again. Yeah, we will. I envy that simple optimistic brain of yours. She's got a point. <laughs> Man, why, could, why do you have to be like that? You could have said it nicer. It was a compliment. Yeah, a compliment. Oh, okay. Thanks for the compliment. Like, I'd fall for that. I'm not that stupid. Oops. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Alright, and we are reeling in the credits. So I'm wondering, though, if there's going to be a new game plus once I uh, save this. Because um, I still need to pick up that other fish, and I still haven't um, caught a lot of the um, recipes and such. Oh, I know that name. I follow them on Twitter. I mean, it's kind of 
open-ended at the end? I mean, we never really found out as, like, is he a ghost? Is he a messenger from the other side? And who was he writing to? I'm pretty sure that he was probably writing to a lost lover. I kind of like these pictures at the end. They're all sitting and enjoying themselves. Thank you for playing. All right, let's see what we got. Thank you for playing Real Fishing Road Trip Adventure. Now the game's timeline will revert back to where it was before you went to catch the legend. It's your chance to complete all the missions. Use the album on the camp menu screen to try to beat Mr. Shopman's fishing records. By doing this, you'll unlock new scenes. Don't let the fishing club down. Keep fishing! Alright! Okay, so we need to get a spotted gar. Yeah, I think so. So it looks like the mysterious reel I can craft, but I think I will need, let's see, uh, five wood and four rubber. So I will do that. It's an upgrade of the Mysterious Reel. That makes things a little bit easier. And let's make some snacks just in case. Okay, and we need a spotted gar. Alright, he's got eight points, so I think what I'm going to do is I am going to up my fish fighting power and up my stamina. As for Neil's only got two points, and Alice only has three, so unfortunately can't really do that much. Wow, it's all rainbow colored very happy. <laughs> yes.
and even the line is rainbow colored. You know what? I think I better um, exit out of this because um, I don't remember which fish I was supposed to be catching. All right, so for the spotted gar, let me see for the lure. Ah, blue popper. Oh, I'm gonna need some more materials for that. So let's see. I'll get. I'll grab some rubber. I need 10 wood, 5 twine, and 10 bottles. Let's make some curry rice. Whoops, did I do the wrong thing? Ah, oh, crap, I did. Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to um, exit out of this. <sighs> yeah, this is, I mean, this is just all really one long cutscene, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And I don't want to close this game out because I don't want to risk accidentally deleting the save where I've worked so hard. Okay, so I was able to save, so I can't get out of stopping fishing. But I will restart this and see if I can get back into um, doing my mission. Ah, uh, it saved for when I was when I was fishing. So it looks like I'm probably just going to have to go through the end game again. And since you all already saw that, I mean, there's really no reason to. So what I'm going to do is I am going to end things off early. Um, Saturday, I have my next stream. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing that or something else. But in any case, um, well, I mean, we can try to wrap it up this week. And then next week we can start on uh, Road 96. So um, let me go ahead and um, find somebody to raid. Okay, so let's see here.
we are going to raid Silverstone Candor. He is playing Grounded. I don't know why I'm folding everything up right now. I think lack of sleep is getting to me. All right, so we are going to raid Silverstone and I hope everybody has a great night and I hope you all have a great weekend. So talk to you later. Like, yeah, yeah, that could be good, but you guys are doing like everything. So I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good here. That would be good, but instead I won't do that. Let's <laughs> look at all these uh, little two stuff. Okay. Chest plate. Ooh, okay, you know, I'll, I'll get that. I like when games. Hey, you've been raided.